fun fam and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on this post notification, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. But my hair, yes, it's different. It has a little bit of purple in it. And if you want to see me uh, do this, it was literally my last video. So you can go check it out in Dallin's reaction, all that good stuff. But today I'm going to be responding to your unpopular opinions. And uh, I have a feeling some of these are going to be a little rage worthy, if you know what I'm saying. I know I have a lot of unpopular opinions just because I'm a weird person. And I'm sure you guys do too. Let's just hop right in. <laughs> Had to run and grab a Red Bull real quick. Also, I have this really yummy, it's called Fall Campfire. It is the best candle ever. Oh, should I wear glasses? Should I be visible today? Unpopular opinions, 2020. I did this in like 2018. So it's been a while since I've done one of these. So let's scroll to the bottom. You guys just sent me so many. Milk is gross. I I think I agree with this one. I prefer non-dairy milk. My favorite is almond milk. Um, I think I have a slight like intolerance to dairy. Nothing crazy, just a little bit. So I prefer like non-dairy milk, but every once in a while I'm drinking a little just a little bit of milk. I'm not a huge fan. I think it's pretty gross, but I know some people really just are like, I need a glass of milk. If I'm drinking any milk that's dairy, it's chocolate milk. Also, do you guys like how only one side of my hair is like curled? Yeah, me too. Peanut butter does not taste good. You guys already know I agree with this one. I hate peanut butter. It's disgusting. I will never like it. I have tried and it just doesn't work out for me. I do not like it. Wow, so many things just about food. I could go on and on. I have a very weird taste bud and I'm very picky about my food, but we'll, we'll just move on from the foods unless these are really good. Subtitles ruin what you're watching by telling you what is gonna happen before it does. I used to agree with you. I used to hate subtitles. I could not watch movies with subtitles because I can't help but just read the subtitles and then I'm not even paying attention to the movie. But then when I started hanging out with my in-laws, they always have the subtitles on and I think I just got used to it. And in fact, I now enjoy it because sometimes it's hard to understand people's accents or everyone else in the room is being really loud and you can't hear your movie. Movie, so then you can just read the subtitles. It's just a great way for everyone to enjoy the movie and no one's like, oh, what did they say? I didn't hear that. Like, just read the subtitles. So I actually really like subtitles now. Okay, ew, this is gross. Carrots in mustard. I hate mustard. Moving on. I think Among Us is overrated. You know, I don't blame you. It can feel like it's overrated. I mean, especially if it's not a game that you enjoy. Also, if you don't have like a solid group that you're playing with, it can feel overrated. I get that. I really like Among Us. Um, if you guys don't know, I have a gaming channel and I stream on there and I stream Among Us a lot. I think it's really fun, but it does get tiring and boring. That's why I gotta switch it up, play like hide and seek or just something that's not straight up just Among Us. But I think it's fun. Like you get to hang out with your friends and play a little game together. Cats over dogs. I'm gonna have to agree on that one. I do like dogs. I have no problem with dog. Well, I kind of do have a problem with dogs, but I prefer cats, especially my cats. I love my cats. I'm a cat person. So I'm gonna have to agree on that one. Mm. How did I just spill that on me? Okay, um, nice. Now I have a puddle of Red Bull on my chair. It's never too early to celebrate Christmas. I'm gonna have to disagree. I think it's fine if you're one of those people that celebrates Christmas in November as soon as Halloween's over. Like that's fine, uh, but you have to wait till after Halloween. You can't be out here celebrating Christmas before Halloween. Like I just, that's me. You can, like if you wanna wait till after Thanksgiving, that's cool. If you wanna do it November 1st, that's cool too. I don't really have a preference. Sometimes I get very overwhelmed by Christmas, so I don't know. I don't think it's really my favorite holiday, but I, I do like the vibes of Christmas. I just don't like, I don't know. I'm not the type to like decorate my whole house and all that. So you do you. I don't like bacon. I do like bacon. My husband hates bacon and it like makes him sick. So I get where this is coming from and bacon has a very strong taste, so I get it, but I think it's good. Chicken nuggets are not the best thing on the McDonald's menu. I mean, yeah, of course not. Because you know what is? The Sprite. Nothing beats a McDonald's Sprite. Also, I love a good McChicken. I love a good McFlurry. Um, I hate their burgers actually. And I actually hate all the food there. I really like the McFlurry and the Sprite. So maybe I'm not one to talk, but 
I could agree with that. Friends is good, but it's not the best show ever. I've only watched like a few episodes and I get why people like it. I've never really been into it. So, I mean, I guess I can agree with you on that. Jeep trucks are cool looking. I don't mind Jeep trucks. I've seen a couple of them, especially living in Utah. There's more here and I don't really mind them, but the thing for me is like, if you're gonna get a truck, why are you getting a Jeep truck when there's like good trucks out there, you know? But it's like, if you're gonna get a Jeep, just get a Jeep. And if you're gonna get a truck, then go get a good truck, you know? That's kind of my take. Crocs are amazing. I'm gonna have to agree. I always forget I have Crocs, but um, my favorite is to wear them when I'm going to go snowboard and then you put your boots on when you get there, but they're just so comfy to slip your little feet in. Oh, they are, they're really comfy. They're also really good lake shoes. Oh, here's a good one with the holidays coming up. I don't like hot chocolate. It's too sweet for me. I don't really like chocolate that much. I, I do love a good Kit Kat. Um, I like chocolate with caramel in the middle, but just straight up chocolate isn't exactly my favorite thing in the world. So hot chocolate, if it's too chocolatey, I can't do it. But just like if I make it and I make it right, I can do it, if you know what I'm saying. Ew, tater tots with applesauce. I think you need some help. Netflix original movies are overhyped and constantly are never really that good. I think it depends. I mean, some Netflix originals are so good and some are terrible. And some are meant to be cheesy and they're not meant to be that good. Like I get those, but there are some that are solid. So I don't know. I can't like agree or disagree because it just depends on the specific movie. Soda is disgusting. I wish I could agree with this, but I love soda so much. And like, I wish I thought it was disgusting because then I wouldn't freaking drink it all the time, but uh, I do love a good soda. Ooh, ooh, this one, this one, this one. Okay, the days leading up to Christmas are better than Christmas day itself. I low-key agree because the days leading up to Christmas, like you're just hanging out with your family, you're playing games, you're doing fun stuff. Christmas day for me is pretty stressful, especially now being married to like the in-laws and then going to my families and like balancing that and organizing with my siblings. And now that we all live far away, it's like a little bit stressful. But those days leading up to it, when you're just all hanging out, you're chilling, like it's fine and you're not worried about anything. I love those days. Vienna sausages are the best snack. This is actually funny. So when I was a kid, my grandpa would always give me Vienna sausages and he always had them in his house. Don't really know why, I guess he liked them. And I thought they were so good and everyone made fun of me for eating them. They thought I was disgusting. Like I'd straight up like drink the juice out of them eat them, and oh, I can kind of like smell them right now. I'm just talking about them. I should go buy some and see if I still like them because I feel like I wouldn't like them anymore. I don't know, I have a really weird taste bud palette. Oh, here's just kind of like a random one, but it's okay to disagree with your family's beliefs. I think that's 100%, like I feel like everyone should be on that same page because I'm a big believer in like your life is your life, it's not your family's life, it's not your friend's life, it's not anyone else's. So like you should do what you feel is good for you and what makes you happy. So that is 100% okay. Oh my gosh, raccoons are adorable. I'm gonna have to agree. There was this TikTok of a raccoon stuck on the back of a semi truck. Oh my gosh, it was the cutest video I've ever seen in my whole life. Like I've always thought they were adorable and I just, I wish I could like have one as a pet, you know? This is actually funny because there's two comments right next to each other that says Christmas starts November 1st and then Christmas is overrated and causes Thanksgiving to be forgotten. I just think that's funny that they're next to each other. But I don't think people who start Christmas November 1st forget Thanksgiving. Like who could forget Thanksgiving? It's so good. Like you just hang out with your family and eat food. Like who doesn't like it? They just like, I mean, I'm not one to spend a whole month celebrating Thanksgiving. Like I hate the decor. I hate turkey and all that, but I love the actual day. The actual day is pretty fun to get. I love mashed potatoes and gravy and stuffing. Um, but just because people start celebrating Christmas November 1st, I don't think that means they're forgetting about Thanksgiving. Like no one just skips Thanksgiving, you know? So, but I get it. It's an opinion and you can have your opinion. Biker shorts are ugly. I actually like, kind of used to agree with this. I used to be like, oh, I don't get the biker shorts. But then I got some and now I'm like, okay, they're comfy. They're like short leggings. Um, so it's perfect for the summer and they go good with like any t-shirt. And like, it's just perfect when you're wearing a big t-shirt instead of wearing like Nike shorts, it just makes it a little bit more of a cuter outfit to throw on some biker shorts. <laughs> Someone said unpopular opinions are usually popular. That's my opinion. Honestly, it's probably true because like a lot of people could share an unpopular opinion, which in turn doesn't make it popular. Hmm, great question. 
Steak is gross. I used to agree with you and I thought I hated steak and then I realized I was getting it um, well done, I think. But now I get it medium rare and medium rare is so good and it actually tastes good and then you pair it with the right sauce and ooh, game over. That just made me really, really want Fuji, which is a place that's back in my hometown. Now I can't wait to go home. <laughs> okay, this is a good one. Someone said, granny panties are the most comfortable underwear. That is so funny because whenever I sleep or whenever I'm just in like having a chill day or wearing pants that I know aren't gonna have underwear lines, I'm like, I'm gonna wear more like granny panty style underwear because they are, they're the most comfortable. I cannot argue with that, I 100% agree. They just don't go well with like leggings or you know, whatever. Ooh, it's better to ask for forgiveness than permission. I guess if you're feeling a little risky, yes. Um, honestly, in some in instances, it kind of is the move to ask for forgiveness rather than permission, but I feel like most of the time it's not the case because it just isn't, I don't know. It just depends on the situation, I guess. Wow, um, my brother-in-law literally sent me like 12. That was one of his. Another one, Mountain Dew is the best thing on the earth. I'm gonna have to disagree because McDonald's Sprite exists, Red Bull exists, uh, Barks exists. I'm not gonna say Mountain Dew is the best, but it's, it's good. <laughs> and then this is a good one. Missouri is a great place to raise kids, but Utah is fun until then. <laughs> Don't worry, Niall, we'll be back. <laughs> And Dallin needs a haircut. No, he's growing it out. He looks great, very attractive. I love the long, long hair. And then to finish up, unpopular opinion, you're a goose. I'm gonna have to agree. And I don't think that's an unpopular opinion. And for people who don't know me or my family, that probably made no sense, but it's fine. Okay, I'm gonna wrap it up there. That was fun to kind of read through your guys' unpopular opinions, react to them, see if I agree with them. I know I couldn't get to everything. I tried to read as many as I could. If you guys want me to do another part two, then comment some unpopular opinions on this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!